Oh my god, I just saw my first African rabbit. <laughs> okay, do something now that I've got you. Hello. Okay, he's... Oh. Are you gonna hop? Hop, buddy. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it's a rabbit. I, I love rabbits. Oh, I'm gonna show this to my rabbit, Jack. Oh. Hey, I'm Trista the Traveler, and this is day six nice. of our safari. So now we're just taking pictures of the sunrise. Where? Look at this. Oh yeah. Sunrise Doesn't so get better than that. Hey, it didn't take long. It's starting to get bright, and we can finally start taking good pictures of the animals. These guys have stopped. I wonder what they're looking at. Oh! They're looking at, uh, well, maybe just gazelle. We've got two giraffes right here. Having a little breakfast. Oh, there's the, yeah, there's the balloon. Over here, we got a bunch of balloons. It's a popular trip, is doing a balloon ride over the Serengeti. Uh, we found a hyena sneaking around. I'll be looking for some fresh kill so he can eat the scraps. There's a good shot of him. Wow, look at him. Oh, we have a baby giraffe on the run. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> got birds on him. There's mum giraffe. They spotted a lion. Oh, she's just see a video of Oh, yeah. Oh, he's looking himself. It's a bath time. Yeah. They're looking lost. <laughs> Those eyes. All right, we spotted a whole herd of elephants. We're just making our way over there now. Oh, there is a little tiny, tiny baby. Zoom in. I've never seen that. Found another hyena. He's just taking a drink of water. Over here we have a yellow billed stork. He's just giving himself a little cleaty. Nice stork. Well, the Serengeti is 14,673 square kilometers big. You could explore this park for months. The Serengeti <laughs> is in Massey, Endless Plain. Well named. Guys, I'm checking out a bunch of baboons. Just came across a solo elephant right beside the road. That is so cool. <laughs> We found some hippos in a pond. Where is it? Where is it? Where is Oh, we have uh, another hippo behind us, and an interesting fact about hippos. They have a great relationship with crocodiles, who are also in there, but we can't see them. Apparently, the hippo poops, and the crocodile eats the poop, so it feeds the crocodile and helps keep the hippo clean. Okay, it took a while, but I finally found the crocodile. So the crocodiles hang out in the ponds, and when the gazelles and different animals come down to drink, that's when they attack. Once upon a time, the Maasai people originated from Serengeti, but they were moved to Ngorongoro conservation area. And today, Serengeti remains wild like original. This tree over here is full of vultures. 
Vultures are kind of scavengers. I'm wondering if there's a fresh kill somewhere around here. Vultures are special birds. They're carnivore birds. Here in Serengeti, wherever you see vultures, you're likely to spot some hyenas. It is likely that there is a prey nearby and they're looking to catch some dark topers. There are four of them. There are four hyenas over there. Oh, yeah, I see them. There are four hyenas and there are three, Got three of them on camera. And there is. It almost looks like one of them is eating something. Vultures oh and the hyenas all at once. Oh, Doesn't what a he shot. Have something in his mouth? Oh, he yeah. got yeah. something in his mouth, yeah. He found himself a snack. So the hyena took what he needed Boy, and he left the rest big. for the vultures. And the vultures are now in there picking at the kill. There's a vulture. He's going to help clean the rest. Oh, yeah, he's joining in with the rest. There we go. Oh, look at all the birds on its back. Do the birds actually like eat? Eat bugs or something? It was been chewed on. The birds are cleaning his bottom, and in exchange, they're getting a free ride and a little protection. Again? Well, the birds are there to help uh, in cleaning the buffaloes, uh, but this particular buffalo looks like it was attacked by a lion. That's why his, his tail is all infected. If you look up closer, you can tell this in the back shape. So these yeah. birds are actually helping heal the wound, then? So that's uh, oh. Oh yeah, he's getting right in there. Little Dr. Bird. Dr. Bird, the Aww. wound infectionist. Yeah, wound infection specialist. <laughs> it's like there's a bird assigned it to every buffalo. Dick dick over here. So tiny. Oh, we've got impalas and warthogs on the move. Look at that. Great migration. <laughs> the great, yeah, it's the great impala warthog migration. They call warthogs Pumba in Swahili, and in Swahili, Pumba means stupid. <laughs> so apparently, they Swahilis do not think that Pumbas are very smart, or warthogs are very smart. Are they not that top of the smart chain? Yeah, and in Swahili, Pumba means stupid. So we named him in short Pumba because it's kind of a stupid oh. if you think about it. They kind of run around there. <laughs> Over here we got a whole bunch of Popey. Let's see if we can oh, get more. close. Oh yeah, there are. Lions okay. like Topia. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that looks like what those lions killed the other day. These ones are keeping a careful eye on the lioness over there, and I don't blame them. They're taking off now. Okay, there's the lioness. Gave up on her hunt and decided to lay in the shade instead. This is the walkway down to our tent. That is beautiful. We have a rainbow. The fun part about the evening is you get to hang out by the fire. 